We have different middle names, so I'm not a junior, something he's pointed out to me, his own son, no less than 4,000 times. Almost everyone who has spent any significant time with my father has a similar story about him. We were in the middle of a conversation, and then he just walked away. Keep in mind that he doesn't excuse himself. There's no, I'll be right back. My dad will just walk away from what you would perceive as a hang, or he'll hang up the phone during a conversation by injecting a simple, okay, I gotta go. The phone part he usually does once he's done talking, and now you are the one sharing something with him, like a thought, a concern, or a story. I wish there was an easy explanation for this, like a developmental or behavioral issue. It isn't either of those things. He knows that we all share virtually the same experience with him. I get bored, and I don't want to waste any time once I feel that way. Oh, so we're boring you. Wonderful. One spring break during college, I brought my roommates down to Florida, where my parents live, to stay for a few days. One evening, Casey, my 4.0 GPA, super polite, thoughtful roommate, came over to me wide-eyed. Hey, man, I don't know what I did, but I, I think I offended your dad. What'd you say? Well, that's just it. I don't know. I was talking to him, and, and he just walked away. He's in another room now. I reassured Casey that what he had experienced was normal for my dad. When I went to chastise my father, who was by then watching television, he barely registered it. Oh, well, I was done talking. I'm watching this now. At my cousin's recent wedding, a former neighbor who only knew me as a small child told me that at the reception, my father did the same thing to him, only the neighbor laughed. He hasn't changed one bit. After all these years, I can say that I almost admire the way he disengages once the conversation doesn't serve his interests. But I don't. I still get upset, actually. I sometimes let it slide, but every now and then I feel like I have to call him out. To be clear, it still has absolutely zero effect on him when I do. What's even more, he likes to say that he's gotten much better about that. He hasn't. And it doesn't take much to convince him of that either. You really haven't gotten better. Really? Yeah, really. I'm wondering if I have cancellation insurance on this cruise in October. What? See? He just doesn't stay in the moment, unless it involves his ass. When my dad isn't walking away from you because he's bored or hanging up the phone because he's not interested in what you have to say, then he is probably going on about something in his digestive tract. Most, and I do mean most, of my dad's phone calls and conversations in person and on the phone are about shitting, farting, wiping, or wishing he was doing one of those things. Countless times I have answered my phone and my father starts describing a bowel movement in complete sincerity and without saying hello. Me. Hello? My dad. You ever get some shit on your hand, and then you have to reach back and wipe with the hand you don't normally wipe with? I had one of those today. I gotta get this call. Talk to you later. This is not a joke to him. To him, bowel movements are not simply a joy. They are criminally underappreciated by the masses, and he has taken it upon himself to spread the good word. He has named himself the head publicist of this cause, and he wants you to listen. If you're not a believer now, please just spend a few minutes listening to my father's convincing pleas. It's something we all do, but no one wants to talk about it, is a favorite expression of his. He is making up for literally everyone who doesn't want to talk about the seven different fart smells he recognizes from himself. Each smell, he says, tells him what will happen next. And it's knowing that that gives him comfort and security. I can tell if I'm going to be sick or constipated just by my smell. My father also has nicknames for the different bowel movements he produces. Sloppy Joes, number sevens, and cherry bombs all mean very specific things to him. And if you spend enough time with him, you can learn all these cool details, too. Cherry bombs get splatter on the cheeks. Sloppy Joe's just kind of fall out of you. He's proud to have these distinctions and happy to discuss any and all of this in detail with anyone. He's told some of his shitting stories so many times that he'll refer to them by their titles. Orlando Airport. The Miami Trip. Lobster. As...
Hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So, let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, Here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information, such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log in to your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click Listen Now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Canceling button. In this step, Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is canceled, 
and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.